Hey, thanks so much for coming by. This is Blake with Meyer Sound. And I want to give a shout out to Steve Ellison with Ellison Systems. That's whose theater we are in today. And I got to tell you, man, we are knocking people's socks off here at CD 2022 in Dallas. We have our Asheron Theater with our Asheron designers across the front, our HMS 5s down the walls, enough speakers in here to rattle your teeth and to get you really excited about the idea of a true cinema experience. You know, with Meyer Sound, we've been doing cinema longer than just about anybody out there, but we're new to the home cinema environment. And it turns out that a lot of the small studios, the small mixed studios, the small cinemas that we've been doing would work just great inside of your home. So if you're looking for that amazing experience, that truly immersive bubble experience, Meyer Sound is here to help you out with that. You know, at Meyer Sound, we do things very differently here. It's all about a powered speaker. That's right, all of the speakers we have at Meyer Sound are self-powered. So that allows us to control the signal path. So from the source to the speaker, a clean, perfect path, a lossless path is what we're looking for. And again, because of the Meyer Sound way of approaching things, you're gonna get the very best studio sound in your home. Hear what the pros here, hear it at home. So tell me about some of the components in this room. What, what, what are we looking at over here? Okay, so looking at this theater as, again, a theater, it's not just about the speakers. We've got a lot of great components in here, starting with where the most, I think the most important part of the entire theater is, this part, the seat. <laughs> These are comfy too. These I was are just comfy. sitting right there during the uh, the, the, the Maverick demo You'd and think it was very, very comfortable. New. These are Sonique. Mm -hmm. And what is exceptional about them is the fact that these are eight years old. These are not brand new seats and they look brand new. Very comfortable for long sitting durations and it allows you to really get immersed in your bubble here. These little guys down here, they're Sonic as well? Yeah, all the seats are Sonic in the room. And these back parts, they uh, they raise up? They do, they do. Yeah, you can see the, the remote here with the handheld remote. Yep, so that's really cool how they do that is that like, usually with furniture makers, they don't think about home theater, right? Yeah. Um, but the, the, the big thing is that whenever you do have something like this that's a little more low pro profile, a little more low boy, you actually are able to sit in your you know captain's chair and still be able to hear the music, right? Yeah. So that's the thing with like, you know, theater seats of old is that you are getting blocked, you're getting hindered a little bit by your signal Absolutely. path. Because usually your ear is gonna be right around here. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, how can a speaker hit your ear from that angle? So exactly. I really like how they start doing these things. This is kind of a newer type of approach to do things but I kind of got off on a tangent on talking about seats. So well, you know, it's, what, what else are we talking about the room? <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny you talk about the seats because that's what we've been talking about is it's creating that bubble. You know, we're, we're, we're basically trying to create a, a room that where our customers can escape reality. Mm -hmm. Now, the other ways to do that are typically illegal. So <laughs> <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> then other ways we're trying to escape reality is for instance, with our Sony projector. This is the 7,000, right? It is 7,000. Yep. Uh, just Can't install. see it. All you see is a little dot in there. That's right. And these are Vacoustic yep. diffusers. Mm -hmm. Acoustic diffusers. Again, those are uh, installed by Steve and his crew here. And then everything is hidden behind uh, stretch fabric. Yeah. So, you can so see we I was noticing that the, whenever we did the demo, uh, typically stretch fabric, you know, works very well. You know, the, the only thing is that you, you get drunk and stumbly and you, you try to press in. <laughs> you, you might not catch yourself before. And you that speaker. comes to the quality of the material. Mm -hmm. You know, this has again been in for since 2016 and it still looks brand new. Mm -hmm. And this has been a showroom. So there has been kids in here poking things with their finger. And again, you can <laughs> see how it, it again, it pops right back. So the reason we do this, as you can see from the backlighting, is all of Meyer speakers are on wall. Mm -hmm. They're physical boxes. We do not build an in-wall. And the reason for that is, well, Warner Brothers and Disney and Skywalker Sound have ever asked us to build one. Who are your clients? Who are our typical clients out there, right. So that's again why you don't see in-walls in here because we've never been asked to build one for the studios, right? In addition to um, uh, the gear that we see in here, the gear we don't see is the Kaleidoscape. That's our movie server. My favorite way to watch movies, this is the endorsement, but I'm happy to give it, <laughs> is through a Kaleidoscape player, right? Mine too. Absolutely the best um, picture quality, best sound quality, and a lot of people don't realize this about Kaleidoscape, is that every piece of content that goes on Kaleidoscape, either movie or concert or whatever, is previewed by somebody working at Kaleidoscape in mm -hmm. full. The sound they're using at Kaleidoscape is a Meyer sound system. So they're listening and they're watching and they actually report back sometimes to the studios where they're actually seeing some artifacting or some issues. The download, the movie download from Kaleidoscape is of a higher bit rate than any uh, hardware source. Yep. So 
you're getting a better image, you're getting better sound, lossless sound, which is extremely important to us. And so that's why the, the uh, combination of a Kaleidoscape into a Meyer system is something we strongly recommend to get that absolute last, every little bit that counts, right? You know, one thing Steve has here at Ellison Systems is the largest Lutron showroom here in the central Dallas area. In fact, we're doing a great job of showing off many of the Lutron lighting fixtures and also the dimming features that we have here. You know, a lot of people forget about the fact that when you first walk into the room, you want to have the lights on, right? And a comfortable lighting seat. Sometimes when I'm in my theater listening to music, I have the lights dim, not completely off, right? A lot of times when I'm playing video games, I have to have the lights up because I can't remember what button to, to push, right? <laughs> so. Sometimes lighting can be overlooked. As you can see though, with the Lutron abilities here, we have a lot of options and that's the important thing. Whatever options you're looking for in your home, Steve and his team can actually cover that with Lutron. This is the back of the theater. We had to bump out six feet. So this is basically this is the back, back of the theater. Back of the mm -hmm. theater. So projectors in here with ventilation. And then behind these two access holes is six feet of Pink Panther insulation. And so KYD had us move the theater back from an acoustic standpoint to increase the, the sweet spot to that back row. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we had to bump this whole thing. And there's the side channels mm -hmm. where we bumped that out 18 inches. So, so we're looking at the back side right. of the theater we were just in. Absolutely. And again, we didn't mention this inside the room, but KYD is the theater uh, acoustics designer for this room. And I, well, I heard it when we were in there. Wow, that's a well-tuned room. I mean, the room sounds good without anything being on. <laughs> so CNC Music Factory, this is uh, where we do all of our testing. CC is uh, Cameron Collar. He's one of our most tenured employees. And we build all of our systems in here. So this is uh, one, one of our larger systems that's going out in a couple weeks. So we unbox every access point, every mm -hmm. keypad, every amp, every yeah, receiver. Yeah, for you customers test. out there. <laughs> Remember, the stuff just didn't arrive from Amazon and we throw it in the back of the truck and it come out to your place. This is all being built. It's called a, a burn-in. Yep. You know, you want to make sure it's all working properly before you take it out to the house. And that's, a lot of people don't realize how much time and energy and effort goes into this part of the process that most of our customers never see. Absolutely. Speaking yeah. of which, I can't keep my eyes off of this thing. What's going on over here? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, like the that's the old projector, isn't it? <laughs> that's our old projectors. We just swapped out the this for the Sony uh, 7000 on Friday for the show because we wanted to have the latest Sony mm -hmm. in there. So that was what we had in there originally. Uh, it's 10,000 lumens. It's a bright projector, but it's just too much, too much for our, that size space. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anything else you want to show us? Well, you know, it all starts with the design. <laughs> there it is. You know, yep. in order to get here, you got to start here. And you'll notice again with Steve's group, we're not talking about an Excel file and a bunch of legal pads. They're using state of the art design software. So again, it happens in the virtual world, which means that we have a predictable result in the real world. And that's the key to working with a great designer, a great integrator is the plan and how they execute it. First of all, you got to have one the plan <laughs> and then you can come in and see how they execute right and as they get to know you and get to working with you that's when we start talking about the customizing and programming and where they built the house and they start to program it and put all this stuff in and that's what turns it into a home right sitting in the morning sun get it watching the shades rolling to live for, come my way, yeah, I'm gonna see We're locked down, ain't no miles to do this late in the race. So Steve, I can't thank you enough on behalf of all the manufacturers from KYD, Sony, Crestron, Lutron, James. Who am I missing? 
Did Anybody? You, Anybody? How about, how, about, how about this one? Meyer Sound. Absolutely. Yeah, that one. <laughs> no, seriously. A lot of work went into putting together this event, and Steve's team did an amazing job putting it together. Not only was it an amazing show before, but gosh, it made it even better. Yeah. Hard to believe. We've looked at uh, the Lutron lighting. We've looked at the Sony projector. We've looked at the Meyer Sound in our speakers in the theater. We've talked about the Kaleidoscape and its um, uh, lossless pathways and how important that is to an overall experience. And really what it comes down to is a great integration firm working with you, the customer, in creating your own bubble, your own environment, your own escape. And if you want to work with Steve, I got his number in my uh, Rolodex. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for coming. Again, this has been a lot of fun. This Thank been you awesome. very Thanks. much.